Hello and welcome to Dragon PME Tutorials Networking. Ne de de de. Start again. Hello and welcome to Dragon PME Tutorials Networking Part Two. Um, the part one was connecting to Tinternet uh, very quickly and easily using Safari. Um, I'd just like to show you how to access um, a network using your Mac. So first of all, you quickly go into the system preferences and locate a little box that says um, file sharing or something to do with that. Ta-da! Sharing. Um, now, bearing in mind, things work a little bit different on uh, a Mac. If you want to share a certain folder, I'm afraid you, I haven't figured out yet how to share one specific folder. I've only figured out how to share uh, your whole profile, your whole whole um, what's it called like uh, if you go into here and then the hard drive then you've got users uh, how to share the whole home route so for example if there was two or three users you'd get two or three different um, options you share everything that's in this that specific folder which is all here um, so you'd be sharing your desktop you'd be sharing your documents your library your movie etc 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 et um, and that is via this you pretty much just tick personal file sharing uh, or you could place um, if you notice on the right hand side um, it's like a go start and stop button or you can just tick it either way um, and also you need to tick Windows file sharing and also you'll be able to configure the accounts um, if you've got two or three accounts you'll be able to tick which ones you do and don't want to share um, that's pretty much uh, file sharing in a nutshell um, if you want to share printers tickety tick if you wanna um, remote Apple events and FTP access and remote logins etc you just tick the box and away you go um, I like to call my computer mini on the network you can easily click edit and stuff like that to change it um, firewall settings I never really took the time to bother with these firewall, firewall settings um, I don't really recommend it because it will only add complications um, so long as you have a password on um, on your user accounts do you know the accounts if you have a password like I do um, then nobody really can access your files and folders because you have to go uh, type in the username and password when you want to access the files and folders um, so it's very secure and easy also um, here if you want to share internet but I'm sure it like mine you will just want to receive the internet um, and this is kind of like a mini server based thing if you want to use it to distribute internet over uh, a network but if you're using a router like I am, you don't really need to touch these settings at all. Um, just tick the box and away you go. Lock the keypad so nobody can fiddle with them. And as so long as you remember your password, you're fine and dandy. Um, that's how you share um, in 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 Mac OS X. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, okay, so now you've got them shared, how on earth do you access them? Okay, well you can double click here. Sometimes you have the network um, button on the desktop um, now I don't um, I can't remember if I had it originally or not but anyway you click the network and it will scan automatically the network so for example MS home is the work group and it should I think my sister is on the downstairs computer yes the host computer um, will this is a PC by the way will show in the list and you click connect and you'll be asked to type in a username and password and you should do that according to whatever um, the downstairs or the other computer wants or needs um, so yeah you quickly click connect I know it's running a little bit slow just I am converting files down here um, that's why if I had a better Mac so some of the settings that are default in here are a pile of rubbish so workgroup domain MS home so downstairs would be family F family password I don't have a password and then okay and guess what you'd get a window of stuff you want to connect these are the shared folders on the downstairs computer so my shared folder okay and you get on the desktop what appears to be a drive I do apologize it's running a bit slow maybe there's some kind of internet act uh, network activity and you just get a, a drive you click the drive and voila everything is there and you can play your stuff through the network easy peasy lemon squeezy that's how you access your files and folders through the network and you can even play them straight off 
do 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 anyway and if you want to disconnect it you press the little eject button and away it goes Ta-da! it's gone off the desktop and it's gone all together or if you could just drag it to the trash um, I wonder why it's not disappearing off there my computer is acting up at the moment um, I do apologize it's because I'm doing about five things maybe I should actually wait and do this tutorial at a more convenient time um, hopefully that's all you really wanted to know cancel go away go away yes I know I ejected it okay um, the only thing I can really say is remember your passwords if you forget your passwords you're bummed uh, there we go easy peasy lemon squeezy I hope you've learned something um, today uh, as you can see networking isn't at all complex until something wrong happens but um, I haven't come across anything wrong yet if something um, that you can't figure out has went wrong please drop me an email dragonpme at gmail.com or post a comment below thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the future